Hello and welcome back to yet another video about how to be a little bit more introspective, a little bit more thoughtful, a little bit more intentional about your life, the choices you make, the decisions you actually take and the consequences which those decisions have, which hopefully take you further along your desired goals in life and in business. And those two are linked essentially and this is what this video is actually about. I often talk, mostly talk, about business, however now we're talking about life because the two can't really be separated, the values and approach and thoughts and beliefs which we hold in one inexorably seep into the other and vice versa. So really today what I want to talk about is energy. And energy is the limiting factor in anything you want to achieve, anything which you may want to actually do. And here's a fact. We all have a finite amount of energy which might be a little bit different for each of us, but it is finite and it is what it is. We can't actually generate more of that. We can't be more energetic than we actually are. If we are, we have been lazy in the past, perhaps we've been taking it easy, and now we are reaching our full capacity in terms of our ability to work hard. So this is not about our work ethic. If we are reaching the limit of our capacity, if we are reaching the limit of our decision making, our choices, our focus, our goal orientation, all those things, the question always is, how do I get better? How do I break through the barrier? How do I maximize what I have already in order to go further along my stated goals? The answer is simple. The solution, of course, when it comes to applying it is not as these things usually are. What is the answer? The answer is alignment. Essentially, we have a lot of friction within ourselves. We have a lot of contradictions, which we sort of try and work out. We try to be sometimes, we compartmentalize things, so we try to be sometimes a different person at home, for example, a different person at work, we try to be a different person with our friends, and a different person when we sort of put on our entrepreneurial hat and we become kind of business orientated. All of these facets of our personality take energy to maintain, they take focus, they take a lot of effort internally, which when taken in its totality, pretty much exhausts us. We may finish a day feeling that we have been wrung out, we have worked really hard, and we've achieved very little. This is a very common complaint. I hear it very often when I talk to executives in C-suite level. I hear it very often when I talk you know, with my friends, and we sort of exchange information and, and tell each other what kind of problems we have. The answer to this, the answer to actually breaking, th breaking through this kind of behavior, breaking out of this pattern of, um, of sort of, uh, you know, loop, basically, um, a behavior which takes us into the same sort of circular kind of motion, is to align what we feel, what we want to achieve internally in our lives, in our person, with what we want to achieve in business and vice versa if possible. You know, if you're in a business which actually has great values and those values benefit you personally, you know, it's good to actually help align them and become uh, one, remove as many internal frictions as possible. How do we actually achieve this alignment, which is so easy to say here in the video? Well, this is for you to actually think through. Think where do the, the contradictions in your life actually appear? Are you a different person with one group of people and a different person with another group of people? How does that actually make you feel when you're on your own? Do you feel exhausted? Do you feel tired? Do you feel that somehow you are fraud because you're presenting only very narrow facets of your personality to very specific groups of people. Then ask yourself how you can actually bring the whole sort of personality of who you are together and bring that into the fore every time. I admit there is an inherent risk in that. We are all afraid of making mistakes. We're all afraid of being rejected. Ultimately, what we need to understand is that that's fine. We are all capable of making mistakes and learning from them. None of us is infallible. We all face and have faced in the past the rejections, countless of them. How resilient we become, how successful we become, how strong we become internally, really depends on how we handle rejection. We must understand that most of the times rejection is very specific. It doesn't have anything to do with our sense of value and sense of self-worth as a whole. And the moment we understand that, then we begin to sort of gradually grow from each experience every time. Think about all these things. 
See how you can apply them so you can actually be stronger. If you're stronger internally, you're going to be stronger externally in the decisions you make, in the approaches you take, in the emotional regulation you can actually put in place. And all these little things will actually give you more energy to do more with each day. And that will help you succeed. I hope this helps. Take care.